Good glorious morning, my little FCA artists. I am so excited that you are here with me in my home for our very first distance learning art tutorial. Although I would rather for us to be in our classroom sitting together at our desks, well, big table, um, we are here. And this is where God has us for this time. So we have to trust in him and know that he knows what is best for us. And right now, I think he knows that we need a little art. But before we get started on our first art project, I want us to start with a Bible verse. And that Bible verse comes from Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. And it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We have so much to rejoice for. But even when things seem a little bit crazy and a little bit out of sorts, we can always rejoice in Him because He is our Father and our Creator, and He loves us so very much. Now, I'm ready for us to get started on our very first art tutorial. This is going to be a simple, directive drawing of a ship in the water. Hope you can see that. With a palm tree and a little bit of land. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna need a couple of supplies for this project, even though it's just a simple directive. We're definitely gonna need a pencil. I like to use a mechanical pencil most of the time. Um, I'm gonna use my eraser, which I have here, um, and then I have a black outline pen, and of course you can use this, or you can use a Micron if you happen to have those, or you can even use a Sharpie fine line pen. And you guys know from classes before that we have done many, many outlining drawings after we get our pencil on, then we erase our pencil. So that's what we're going to do here is we're going to draw everything with pencil first, then we're going to do our outlining, and then we'll erase, and then we will have it ready for color. You can also use either color pencils or you can just use basic crayons. When I did the original, I did all crayon. So here is our picture. And I want you to look at some of the shapes and things that we're going to do, and I'm going to tell you how we're going to get started step by step. Then we're going to jump straight into doing the drawing um, one step at a time. So the first thing we're going to start with is the boat. Okay, We're going to start right in the middle of our page, and we're going to start with the shape of the boat. And then we are going to add the different sections there. We're going to add our horizon line, which is where our sun meets the water. <laughs> We'll add in our simple line here. I'll show you how to draw the palm tree, and then we will ink everything in. So that's gonna be what we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna start with our pencil, and we're gonna draw a simple, almost like a smiley face, and we're gonna do it right in the middle of our paper. So I'm gonna do this. This is the top of our ship. A simple line. We're gonna do a curved line on either side of that. And then we're going to mimic the same line again. And that's the top of our ship. We're going to add two diagonal lines now. One is going to be deeper than the other. That's the front of the ship. And then the back of the ship is diagonal, but not quite as deep. I'm not adding the bottom yet. We're going to add that in a few minutes. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is add a straight line. So we're going to go straight down over to the side. And then I'm going to go back up to the top again, and I'm going to draw another line down at a slight diagonal. Okay? Then we're going to add our little flag, which I'm going to put at the very top, a simple line, and then a little wave, and then down here, a little wave, and bring those two points together. Next, we're going to add the sail, and I'm going to take from the very top point here and draw a line down to about right here. You can see that dot? There. And then I'm going to draw another line. And one more to connect. That's our sailboat, okay? Now I'm going to add our water line here, but then a horizon line behind it. So I'm going to do just a simple, slight curved line that goes right across the bottom of our boat. And then over here, I'm going to draw another wavy line. That's going to be our land. 
and then I'm going to add the sunshine that goes right behind it. Okay, so I'm going to do another line of water that's going to be all the way across. Remember, we're going to imagine that we're drawing through, stop, and then draw the rest of the way through. Then we're going to add that circle. It's kind of like a half circle because the sun is either coming up or going down. I hope you guys remember some of our lessons before on drawing light until it's right because when we draw things light we can erase them if we make our little mistakes here and there and it makes it a lot easier okay so now we have our sailboat we have our sun we have our horizon line we have the land so all the water kind of goes up to that point right there and now we're going to draw our palm tree okay So for the palm tree, I'm going to be erasing some of the lines that I've already got there. I'm going to draw some straight lines separated from each other down to the ground. And that last one a little bit longer. Each one of these, I'm going to do parenthesis curves. They're kind of opposite parentheses. That's the base of our palm tree. So I'm gonna erase some of these lines that are inside so that it looks like my palm tree is on the front. Now I'm gonna draw the top with our leaves. So I'm gonna draw some curved lines. Some of those are gonna go right off the page. Some short ones, a couple of tall ones, like that. And then I'm gonna add some little leaves. And these are gonna be like this, little tiny, Okay, now that we're done with our palm tree, I'm gonna look back at my original drawing, which is here. I can see that a couple of things are a little bit different in my new drawing. And one of the things that I liked about my first drawing was that I had a curved line here instead of straight. So I'm actually gonna go back and I'm going to erase that line and fix it to be more curved. I think I'm gonna leave the palm tree the way that it is, but um, just see that this one is much larger. If you wish to have a larger palm tree, then you can go back and change that if you want to. Remember, you can always pause the video at any point in time if you haven't caught up yet and um, take your time getting this done. You don't have to do it at the same speed that I am. Pause your video and then return as soon as you're ready. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the drawing that we're doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and erase this line right here. Okay. And I'm going to add that line back in, but I'm going to do it in more of a curve. Because I like it to look like the wind is blowing it out. OK. 
Okay. And because I have part of the sun in there, I'm going to erase that so that it looks like the sail is in front of the sunshine as well. Okay. And let's see if there's anything else that we need to fix on here. Um, I think we're good to go. I think it's time to ink. All right, so I'm gonna fix, pick my pen, and I'm gonna go ahead and start and just redraw all of my lines. If there's certain things that I see that I maybe wanna change a little bit, I can do that now while I'm inking, because then we're gonna erase all those pencil lines, okay? So here we go. Uh, you guys join me and get your inking done. I would like to show you that on my original drawing, I made the line through here look more like a rope. And so I am gonna go ahead and add those curved lines in to create uh, the rope there. And that's gonna be by simply doing these little lines like this. Just evenly space them across the whole bottom line where the cell connects to the mast. And then I'm gonna go back on top. Okay, I'm gonna continue inking. While we're getting our inking done, I hope you guys have started the art challenge that was sent to you um, via email from your classroom teachers. You put together an art challenge um, with 20 different art projects to do and I thought those would be tons of fun for you guys. I'm actually gonna do a few art tutorials as well um, that will help you to get some of those challenges done, maybe for the um, airplanes, uh, the 3D flower, uh, maybe a paper folding. I was thinking of letting Josie do a tutorial on how to do a paper folding of a butterfly because she loves to make paper butterflies. Okay. okay, guys, by the magic of um, technical difficulties, I am now finished inking all of the palm tree and the rest of the drawing. Um, hopefully I'll get better at this as we go along and uh, we won't have so many technical difficulties. I think I'm saying that right. So if you need to, pause the video for just a second and finish in all of your inking. Once you're done with the inking, then it's gonna be time to erase all those pencil marks. And you can see several of mine here. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of those erased so that we'll be ready to do our coloring. Erasers out too far.
Okay, I think most of my pencil marks are gone. Okay, so I'm gonna look back at my original drawing and the coloring scheme that I used. This time I'm gonna change the sail and do a different color scheme. I think I'd said that before. And um, I'm gonna pull out my crayons and then we're gonna get started. I think I am gonna add something different to my new drawing this time. And I think I'm gonna add a couple of birds that are going right here. And I'm gonna do that with my pen so that um, it's already on there and then I can just color over it and it's like a silhouette. So I'm gonna do that by doing like a little teardrop almost and then adding the wings on each side like this and then bringing them down in little diagonals. I think I'm gonna do about three of those birds. Okay, and now we are ready for coloring. So my crayons that I have, have no labels. And I don't know why, somebody took them all off. <laughs> so we get to just play around with our colors as we go in. So I'm going to do my water first and I'm gonna use a variation of blues to show the water. And I'm gonna to try to find my darkest blue to do that horizon line in the very back. So I'm gonna test these right here. This one's really good and dark. More turquoise color. These blend really well together. Okay, so I think my darkest one is this one. I'm going to darken in my horizon line really nice. Go around my tree. Now you can see in the back, I'm gonna use more pressure on my crayons to get a deeper, darker color. And then as I come forward, I lift up on the pressure so that it's a little bit lighter in color. And then I can blend some extra colors in there too. When I'm doing some of these waves, then I'm gonna do more pressure as well. So I can show kind of the depth of the water, some shadows. I'm gonna keep getting a little bit less pressure as I come closer and closer to the land. Notice I'm also going from side to side because that's the way that the texturing would be if we're looking at the ocean. We're not going in circles and I'm not going up and down and crossover. I'm doing the same direction the whole time to keep it nice and neat. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with some of these other colors. I love this kind of a turquoise color. Add some extra depth and interest to my water. And I think I'll add some of the other colors as well. Just mix some of these blues up. Okay. Now I'm gonna look at my brown to do the ground here. And because this is just sand, I'm gonna go really lightly and use the side of my crayon and just kind of color that in to where it looks more tan than it does brown.
then that way I, when I go in to do my palm tree, I can actually color it down dark and it looks like two different colors. Okay, and we're gonna add some green. I'm going to refer back again and look at my colors. So for the sunshine, I did a much lighter yellow, and I even added a little orange on the side. And right here where the sun would be closer to the horizon line, I've added yellow into the sun, into the skyline as well, and then changed it into the blue. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to find my yellow and an orange. I'm going to start with a little yellow here and just zigzag it across the bottom in between my trees. Ooh, picked up some green. A little orange. And I'm going to pick up some blue and come down towards this. And this is the side of my crayon. And I'm going to add a little bit of yellow in the water from the reflection of the sun. And the boat would be in the way of the reflection to the front. That would actually cast a shadow. 
So I'm just going to do the reflection on the sides. And now we're going to paint, or color, sorry. Oop, look at that, right behind there. I almost forgot that. Okay. I'm going to do a gray for the mast. Going to use that brown again for the rope. And let's see, color for the sail. I think I'm going to do just red. This is orange. I have a real red, so I'm going to do orange and white instead of green. And now we're going to do the boat. I'm going to do some little fine lines with my crayon so that it would look like the wood of a boat, and then color over those. You can do those lines with ink as well before you color. It's hard to do ink after you color, especially with crayon, because crayon is wax, and the ink does not want to lay down after crayon is on the paper. I'm going to do the sides of the boat just a little bit darker to create what looks like a shadow casting. Okay, and then last we need to color our flag. Okay, now we are done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this art tutorial. Our next one um, will be posted in, a ne in the next couple of days. Hopefully we'll get some of those tutorials out to you too that will help with your art challenge um, while we're at home and doing our distance learning. Uh, remember that I love you guys and that I'm praying for each and every one of you. And I hope to see you all very soon again. Bye-bye.